Here we are visualising some fractions. On this side we're going to visualise what two thirds looks like. So here's a box and we've divided it up into three bits and we're going to shade two of them. So that is what two thirds looks like. And over here we're going to visualise four fifths. We've got our box, the same size box as over there, and we have divided it up into five bits and we're going to shade four of them. All right, so now, because we are talking about multiplying fractions after all, we're going to talk about what does two-thirds of four-fifths looks like. All right? Of means multiplication, so two-thirds times four-fifths is the same as two-thirds of four-fifths. Same as six times eight is six of eight. Anyway, what does two-thirds of four-fifths look like? Well, here's your four-fifths, this bit here. What we're going to do is break it in to three. We're going to imagine you draw a line down there and a line down there and we're going to take two of them. So we're going to have two here and we're going to leave this one out because we only want two thirds of these four fifths. So if we do this, all right, we've turned the lines off. So now in this doubly shaded area we have got two thirds of the four fifths. The red area was the four fifths and we've divided it up into thirds and we're going to take two of them, these two over here. So the big question is what the answer, you've been told that you multiply the top line, two fours are eight, and you multiply the bottom line, three fives are fifteen, so the answer of two thirds of four fifths is eight fifteenths. But where does that come from? How do you, how do you see that? Well, if you put the lines back in, and then you, so we've still got the four fifths here and the two thirds here, and then we overlay them, and this doubly shaded area is the four fifths of the two thirds. So how big is this doubly shaded area? How much of the whole is this area here? Well, it is eight of those rectangles. So you've got four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You've got two lots of four gives you eight of those rectangles. And how big are those rectangles? Well, there's 15 of them. There's three times five is 15. So you've taken your thirds and then you've divided your thirds into fifths. So each third, so you look at the whole box, you divide it into three, you've got multiply by three, then you multiply by five when you divide each of those thirds into fifths. So each of these boxes is 15. You've got 5, 10, 15 boxes, all the same size. So your answer, 2 thirds of 4 fifths is 8 fifteenths. So these are 8 out and what you've got is 15 which is the 3 multiplied by the 5.